I have to talk about this fucking guy. I was on a plane very recently, and when we were on the tarmac, it didn't even seem like I was sitting next to anybody. That's how still this dude was. Like he was a mannequin. And then we got in the air, and then all of a sudden, I was in this guy's apartment. Because he fucking, he takes his seatbelt off. They didn't turn the sign off. What is he, Caesar? He just fucking, like, ah, snap. And then he chucks it my way, like, oh, here, you forgot this. So it, like, hits my, then he gives himself a nice wide berth. And now his knee is touching my knee. And he's wearing shorts. And he's got these strong leg hairs that are poking through the holes in my jeans. So it's like sitting next to a spider I can't find. But then he pulls out a fucking iPad and he starts watching a television show with no headphones in. And my gut instinct was like, hey, let's cut his throat, right? Let's kill this motherfucker. Why not? You're going to watch that show the whole time? It was a flight from L.A. to Boston. That is sometimes six or seven hours, depending on weather. You're going to watch that show with no headphones the whole flight. Do you go to the library and read out loud too, motherfucker? No one wants to listen to this shit. No one wants to hear you binge watch the Gilmore Girls. So put some fucking headphones in before I tell you what happens to Lorelai. I swear to God. It's a good show. I've never heard of that. Gilmore is. 